question is there any additional dua to recite at the graves after the dua of salam the graveyard there is a prescribed salam or greeting and this salam is also an invocation what do we say we say once we pass by or we enter a Muslim cemetery you say assalamu alaykum ahl al-diyar min al-mu'minina wal muslimin so this is the first part which is the greeting peace be with you the owners the dwellers of these homes of the believers and of the muslims nas'alu allah lana wa lakum al-'afiyah that is the next segment we ask allah to pardon us and pardon you nas'alu allah lana wa lakum al-'afiyah so that is the dua part the information is coming in this last segment, the third segment. وَإِنَّا إِن شَاءَ اللَّهُ بِكُمْ لَاحِقُونَ And inshallah, soon we will join you. Join you where? In this graveyard. So it gives a person the benefit of visiting the graveyard. That you're not visiting aliens. You're not talking to people who are mortal and you're not, or you are immortal. No, you remind yourself. So you benefit the dead with your dua and with your greeting. And you benefit yourself by reminding yourself that soon you will be in this place. Afterward, you can make any dua. Normally, as the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam buried one of his companions, he requested his companions to pause for some time, enough to slaughter and skin off a sheep. I said, استغفروا لأخيكم وسلوا الله له التثبيت فإنه الآن يسأل Seek forgiveness for your brother who is dead whom we attended his funeral وسلوا الله له بالتثبيت and ask Allah to keep him firm because he has been questioned right now right after the burial the angels will come منكر ونكير and will set him up and will ask him the questions like مَنْ رَبُّكْ وَمَا دِينُكْ وَمَا تَقُولُ فِي الرَّجُلِ الَّذِي بُعِثَ فِيكُمْ So, <coughs> excuse me. So it would definitely benefit the dead person, the dua, the invocation and the prayer of those who are standing next to him. So allow 15, 20 minutes, 30 minutes, as much time as you can to make dua. What kind of dua? Whatever you can make, even if your own mother tongue, uh, some prescribed dua such as, O oh Allah, make his grave a garden of paradise. O oh Allah, fill his grave with nur, with light. O oh Allah, keep distance between him and his sins, similar to the distance between the east and the west. Wash him of his sins or her sins and so on. Then you can ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for whichever request that you want to ask, as I said, even in your mother tongue. Barakallahu feekum.